In Onshape, you can create a feature called a sweep, which is a shape that is moved along a path. The shape is called the profile and the path is called the trajectory. Before we can create the sweep though, I need a couple sketches for that path, the trajectory, and the shape, the profile. So let's go about creating those different shapes. I'm going to make my trajectory first. Let's select the plane called top, and then I can right click and hold and choose to create a new sketch. And let me then view normal to the sketch plane. And the point of this video isn't about sketching, so I'm gonna create a bunch of lines real quick and then come back when I'm gonna do some more stuff to it. Okay, there I have the shape of my trajectory, a few straight lines, and a couple of fillets. Let's hit the check mark to complete out of the first sketch. Let me turn my plane display back on. Now I'm going to locate my orientation for my next sketch. I'm going to create my profile, the shape that I'm going to move, located right at the beginning of my trajectory. So to do that, Let's select our plane and then create a new sketch. And once again, I'm going to view normal to my sketch plane. And again, I'm just going to create a bunch of different lines. So I'll come back when that is finished. All right, I have completed my second sketch. Let's hit the check mark to get out of the sketching environment. Now to create my sweep, I will click on the sweep command. And here we can create a solid or a surface. I am going to create a new part. And now I'm gonna select the face and sketch region to sweep. And the next thing is to select the sweep path. Let me select the different entity. Oh, let me click in the collector to activate it. Now let me select my different entities that I'm going to sweep along. You can see the preview of the geometry that's being created. And there we go with all the different entities. And you can see how the geometry is being made. I want to point out a couple different things about this. So when it encounters this straight corner, it just miters about the corner and ends up creating geometry that a lot of times ends up looking like the corner of a picture frame. And here it went along tangent to the different entities and then just pivoted at the corner again. There is an option here to keep the profile orientation the same, but if I do that, you can see how it creates geometry that cannot be made. So let's turn that off. I don't want to keep the orientation always facing the same plane. I want it to be normal to the trajectory along the different points. And a few th other things to point out. If I already had geometry in the model, I could choose to add or remove this new sweep from it or create an intersection between two different parts, two different solids. That Looks good. Let's hit the check mark. And now I have my sweep completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.